Now that we've created the outside walls for our house, we're going to go back and create the interior walls. To do this, let's go up to our draw, multi-line, to bring up our multi-line command, and we're going to change the justification of it by right-clicking anywhere in your space, select justification, and we're going to set it to bottom. This way, the points we select will be set as alignments for the bottom element. We're going to have this start from the midpoint of this vertical line and extend out 10 feet. We'll turn the corner and extend up another 1 foot, 1 inch. Now we have another doorway. We could use the snap from option but we do not have to because that was the last point that we created. We can right click, repeat multi line, and for the start point, we can give it a relative coordinate. We know that the gap is 2 feet 8 inches, so we're not going anywhere in the x direction. We're going up 2 feet 8 inches in the y direction from our previous point. And we're just going to extend this up past our horizontal wall. Uh, we'll fix this in another section for multi-line edit tools. Right click and select enter. And while we're here, I'd also like to show you that uh, when looking at why we set this to bottom and what bottom actually means, This is the midpoint of our outside line. Note that the bottom of our multi-line was set to match up with the point for the midpoint. We're now going to change that. So go back up to draw. Click on multi-line. Right click. And select justification. We're going to change that back to top so the points that we select will now align to the top element. In your object snap toolbar, pick your snap from option. And it should display from base point. AutoCAD expects us to select a geometric entity somewhere on the screen. From the object snap toolbar again, we're going to select snap to endpoint. Because we can stack those. It's okay to have more than one object snap on top of each other. We're going to create another inside wall on the right side. So we're going to pick a corner. Let's go for hmm, right here. And from that location, we'd like to go 2 feet 8 inches in the x direction. This is a relative coordinate, so you type in your at symbol. 2 feet 8 inches, comma, 0 in the y direction. And we'll extend that all the way past our vertical wall as well. In the next section, we'll talk about how to edit these so they look like they're all part of the same drawing.